So today I'm going to take you through a workout using just your equipment. So we're going to need a bow, we're going to need some stabilizers, and that's it. Hi guys, I'm Lucy from O'Sullivan Archery. I do archery for Britain and I'm also a corrective exercise specialist. So today we're going to do a workout using just our equipment. So we're going to start off with the upper body. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our lovely bows. i am uh, obviously got my Invicta today. And all we're going to do is we're going to start off with bicep curls. So you keep the elbows close to the body. You bring the bow up to your chest. And we're going to do this for 30 seconds today. So you get that nice burn. Bows are actually quite light without all the equipment on it. So by doing it for a long period of time, you get that burn. Exercise. We've just done the front of the arms. We want to cue the back of the arms. So we're going to slightly bend over. We can pop our hand on one of our knees just to give us some assistance. And we're going to extend the elbow back away from you. So you're bringing that arm straight and then you're curling back in. So this is called a tricep extension. We're going to start off with one arm at a time. And again, do it for 30 seconds. You're going to feel that burn. All right, now we've done our biceps and triceps, we're going to add in some shoulder stability stuff and some shoulder strength. So again, we're going to use our bows because we, this is the weight we've got to hand today. We're going to start with the bow in front of our chest and we're just going to drive up over our heads. And again, everything today is going to be 30 seconds. Because the bows are quite light without all the equipment on, we're just going to keep going up and down. Make sure that you control on the way down and squeeze your shoulders on the way up and also with all of these exercises engage your core and if you're finding that too easy you can just do single arm pushes with the bow. So the next exercise we've just done our overhead presses we're now going to add in some shoulder stability stuff so we're going to do lateral raises so you just lift the bow up and down obviously this doesn't look normal but we're just using bow but you might get the limbs getting in your way so if you just turn the bow it's going to be a little bit easier for, to do strength work so the next thing we're going to do for some shoulder stability again this is 30 seconds we're going to do a frontal raise so i'm just going to hold my bow and i'm just going to lift it up in line with my chest and bring it back down we're going to do this for 30 seconds today and again i want you to squeeze your shoulder blades together nice and controlled on the way down and engaging your core so that means sucking in your belly button into the spine okay so the next exercise we're going to do we've just done frontal raises we're now going to add in a bit of shoulder stability with an overhead hold and doing some lunges at the same time so this is going to engage our core our glutes our legs every single muscle so you raise your bow up in the air control hold the shoulder in place and then for 30 seconds we're going to lunge forward with one leg back and then lunge forward with the other leg and come back try and keep your knee just off the floor or try and get it to touch the floor but be gentle with that don't slam your knees down if you want to make this harder what you can do is lunge forward and then backwards so forward with one leg backwards with the same leg swap sides forwards with one leg backwards with the same leg, swap sides. And just keep doing that until the timer says 30 seconds. All right, so we've just finished our lunges. We're now gonna move into a lower body exercise. We're gonna do an overhead squat. I'm gonna use my Estremos today. So you're gonna put your arms up over your head. You're gonna squeeze your shoulder blades together and imagine you're trying to pull apart the bar. Have your feet shoulder width apart or hip width apart, whatever's easier for you. Turn your toes out slightly and try and get all of your body weight into your heels. From there, you brace your core, so that means squeezing in your tummy. Squat down, keep the bar over the head 
and drive up with the heels, squeeze your bum. Pop down again and squeeze. And I'll show you from the side. So the next exercise we're going to do, we're going to work our tummies. I actually call these exercises the circle of life because it really reminds me of the beginning of the Lion King. So imagine you're holding a baby lion and you're pushing it up to the sky just like the monkey did in that film. So what you're going to do, lie down, bring the bow up and then come back down. Bring the bow up and you can keep your arms tensed here so we're always working our arms and we're always working our tummies. I don't touch the floor with my shoulders or my head and that just engages the core a little bit more. All right, so the next exercise, you might want to enlist some help for this one. Um, I'm gonna just try it by myself. So you balance your bow on your back. We're gonna go into a high plank today. So that means on your hands, push your leg up. So if you can do this, you've got good core stability. You're gonna hold that high plank, squeezing the shoulder blades and squeezing your belly button towards your bow and hold for 30 seconds. Now, please do get some help if you find that too hard. Watch my last video, I keep talking about side planks and I really, really cannot tell you enough how good these are gonna be for you. So with a side plank, try, if you're, if you're struggling, pop one leg in straight. Now I'm saying this is a, a core exercise because we really want to have a nice flat back, chest up, sucking in your stomach, so core on, and then from there we hold the bow and we just lift it up over our heads. Have your legs nice and straight, chest up, and make sure that all your back and tummy muscles are nice and strong. Now if you want to make it harder, lean back slightly, lift your feet up off the floor and then do the overhead press. So I hope you enjoyed today. We have literally used nothing but our bodies, our bows and our stabilizers. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe below. I also want to know what you found was hard, what you found was easy and what you want to see more of. Tune in next week for some circuit sessions. I hope you'll find them fun. Until then, stay safe, stay inside and see you next time.